Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Adaya. Today we're going to compare dry code waders to tied weed waders to see which one's better. Hey, well, welcome to the channel. Like I said, we're going to compare really Amazon's two cheapest wader options out there. So the first one is dry code. Dry code's waders, I don't know what kind of camo pattern these are. The Tidewee waders look like they're Max 5s, which is a pretty common real tree pattern. These look almost like the grasslands, like they're grassland, like real trees grass. Anyway, I don't know what the ones these are, but that's the dry code wader camo pattern. They're neoprene. They're three and a half inch or 3.5 millimeter neoprene waders. They have the hand warmer pocket here in the middle. That's a full pass through pocket as well as the shell pouches here, as well as a storage co component here on the chest. They have an internal pocket, just one, that would be for like a cell phone or maybe something like that. That's inside the waders. The straps are good. Um, the thing about these straps, they're identical to the ones on the Tidewee waders, is they have neoprene uh, cushioning on the shoulders, which I don't like and I'll show you why when we get to the other pair. But they do have the cushion there with the extra neoprene. All the seams in the dry code waders are taped and glued where the material has been sewn together. That's a good thing. Uh, prevents leaks. And then moving down the waders, shoulders to chest pocket we already talked about. The knees here on these dry code waders are reinforced, so they're double thick and they have a uh, abrasion kind of pad on them here. So the knees being double thick are good. You get a lot of holes in that area as you're like banging through brush and sticks and stuff like that. So the knee and shin guard area being doubled up is nice. These boots though um, are nothing to write home about. They're just rubber boots. Um, they are like sealed and uh, taped to the waiter bottoms, so that's nice, the way that they have them attached. Um, and then, yeah, the boots, nothing super aggressive on the tread pattern. Um, they aren't insulated in any kind of way. They are really thin walled boots. So you, if you're gonna buy these, I would suggest go a size up so that way you can wear some really thick wool socks underneath um, because your feet are gonna get really cold in these. So that's Dry Code's waders. Honestly, Solid pair of waders, especially for like 75 bucks. Um, if you stay to the end of this video, by the way, there is a giveaway that we're gonna talk about for some dry code deck boots. So you don't wanna miss that. Stay to the end of the video, you'll get a chance to win these for free. The uh, Tidewee waders though, are almost carbon copy to the dry code waders. I wouldn't be surprised if these were in the same factory, made in the same factory. Uh, still the same nylon buckle, still the same plastic. Um, taped, all the seams are taped. It's got that internal cell phone pocket as well as the hand warmer pocket and the gear pouch here in the front. And then you can see here, the only difference on the front is that instead of there being shell loops here, it's just more like thin pockets, small pockets. You could probably still put shells in there, but they're not individual. Their knees are a little different as well. So these Tidewee waders have a stitching of extra neoprene over the knee and shin area. It's just they don't have the coating like dry codes do. They have it padded. Um, and these boots, I think, are maybe even identical. Yeah, these boots look almost the same. It's a very pliable rather rubber, and they're not insulated. So again, if you're going to buy these Tidewee ones, I would go with the size up just so that you can wear some thick socks, depending on where you're hunting. Um, Tidewee's boots have a more aggressive tread pattern. You can't see it because they're filled with mud because my son hunts in these, um, but their tread pattern is a little bit more aggressive, whereas dry coats are a little bit more slick and smooth. Um, and then finally, the Sitka waders. The Sitka waders are great. If you don't know much about these, I have a whole breakdown review of them on my channel so you can watch that video if you want to know more about these Delta Zip waders. So I won't waste your time here. But really, for the money, these dry code waders are great. The Tidewee waders are great. I think they're only 75 bucks. Um, so not super expensive. And if they seem durable, man, they're gonna keep water out. I know the Tidewee ones have been working for my son. 
And as long as they keep you dry, then that's what waders are for. You don't need to spend a thousand dollars unless you really want to on a pair of waders. Heck, if these things don't even last a full season, you have enough money in the bank still to buy extra pairs. Um, or like for us and our family, these are great options when you have kids because kids grow out of their stuff so fast. So you can buy the, their kids versions and not feel like you're <laughs> losing an arm and a leg to purchase their waders for them not to be able to wear them next season. You can buy them new almost every year and be okay. So Dryco is also doing a giveaway with us. So if you want to know more on how to get these deck boots for free, there'll be a video link maybe up here or down in the description, but we're going to give these away at the end of this month. So these are, I have a pair of these myself and they're super comfortable. They work great. Um, yeah. Other retailers that are selling similar fishing boots would be like 120 bucks. These boots I think are like 45 bucks and they do same thing, just like their waders. Yeah, you can go different big brand stores and buy some waders for two, 300 bucks that are needed for waders, or you just buy these for 75 bucks. So um, hopefully that helps as you guys look and think about getting a pair of waders for yourself. If you're brand new to duck hunting or brand new to fly fishing or something and you need a pair of waders, don't go and buy a thousand dollar waders. I know they look cool. I know like you can put it on your social media that you own something awesome, but don't do that. It's a waste of money. Start with these first, figure out what you like and don't like. Then later on, if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade, but these are great, especially for kids. Uh, if you want a pair of these, you can check in the link below dry codes website. Uh, they've been great. And, uh, I don't know how to finish this. So I guess we're done. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like this video and then subscribe to my channel for more, uh, as we kind of do a ton of stuff. I don't know if you can see it in the background, we're going to be building that John boat out over the next few months to make it the ultimate fishing machine. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure to subscribe. All right, thanks, bye. And we're gonna get into it. All right, here we go. Intro section of me shooting things and fun stuff and over.